There we go then, it was that simple, wasn't it? Another victory for Liverpool, five-point gap at the top of the table. Once again, obviously with a goal, a game in hand um, over Manchester City, free score in Liverpool performance. Diogo Jota was absolutely lethal, two goals and an assist for him. Uh, Darwin Nunes... Two very high quality strikers finishes. Um, hopefully, this is the turning point. Maybe it's the turning point for Darwin Nunes. Who knows? But ultimately, a really professional, um, grown up performance by us. You know, worked really, really hard to to get into the game. Bournemouth started really, really fast. I thought some outstanding performances, the likes of Alexis McAllister in the middle of the park, defensively superb, couple of absolutely beautiful passes as well. The one that springs to mind is uh, first off is, the, is that ball through the lines to Harvey Elliott. Looked amazing. Um, and yeah, just I say, just a bit of a grown-up performance. Now, the thing with this Liverpool side is they can kind of play any game of football can't they you know you want to go toe to toe with us we'll do that um you want to we want to play with the ball at our feet we can do that we'll go fast we can do that we press high up the pitch we can sit off we can defend and we defended really really well today obviously you know a clean sheet thankfully um the striker missed a relatively easy chance you'd think uh, a one-on-one -on -one. somehow the ball spanned the wrong way not sure how that happened to be honest with you um but liverpool had answers to all of bournemouth's questions today um you know, in difficult conditions, by all accounts, it looked windy. Uh, obviously, both teams have to do deal with that. But, f you know, fortunately for us, it was the clinical nature second half and the subs from Jürgen second half that made a massive difference once again. Now, you know, obviously, uh, last time out before the winter break, he, Darwin Nunes sets up Gakpo. This time, it's Gakpo setting up uh, Diogo Jota after good work from um, Darwin Nunes in the build-up but yeah Darwin Nunes gets the first goal the first goal the finish is absolutely superb but first I'll be honest I thought he kind of missed it but obviously when you watch it back the finish is absolutely perfect Um he doesn't really give the keeper a chance. He takes it, he's composed, he passes the ball into the net, absolutely superb. His second goal, outside of the boot, off the post, again, you know, great striker's play, held, held his run, was onside, get in, um, manages to stay onside and finishes it brilliantly. Two really, really high-quality finishes from Nunes. You know, he's had a lot of chances that have hit the post so far this season. The ball didn't feel like it was going in and, you know, that's now 10 goals, 10 assists, um, in all comes for Darwin, which is a great return so far. Uh, on course for maybe 15 of each, 17 of each, who knows at the moment. But, you know, when your Mo Salah's not there um, while he's at um, the the AFCON and, and when Endo's not there at the Asian Cup, you need other players to step up. And McAllister certainly stepped up today and showed what he's about defensively. And, you know, two strikers getting two goals apiece is exactly what you need. And Diogo does Diogo things and always has done Diogo things, hasn't he? You know, two goals an assist for him. Uh, absolutely superb once again. He got the man of the match on Sky. I thought he was probably Liverpool's most impactful player. I thought Liverpool's best player personally was Alexis McAllister. There was big performances all around there. You know, Ibu Kanate, superb. That block... Um, from Dom Solanke towards the end, brilliant. Virgil van Dijk Marshall in that back line. Connor Bradley again, exceptional performance from the young right back. Joe Gomez at left back. Kurt Jones grew into the game. Harvey Elliott uh, worked really hard to help to cover with, with Connor Bradley. Uh, and he attacks down our right hand side, Bournemouth's left hand side. And yeah, uh, Gakpo even manages to get himself an assist uh, when he comes on. Uh, Gravenberg looked good. Um, when he came on as well. So, yeah, everything just seems to be pointing in the right direction. Obviously, a big uh, second leg semi uh, semi final of the Carabao coming up and, you know, a, a fourth round FA Cup game before we take to the Premier League. But we've put the pressure on Manchester City again and said, you know what? You're going to have to be perfect if you're going to catch this Liverpool side because this Liverpool side is a serious football team. This Liverpool side seriously wants points this season and this Liverpool side seriously believes that they can win the league. Oh. And I believe that Liverpool can win the league this season. It is going to be tough but without Trent Alexander-Arnold without Mo Salah without Andy Robertson without Costas Simakas without Enzo and all the other players Dom Sobers like that we've been without this season to sit pretty at the top of the league to come through that Christmas period and New Year period top of the league uh, and to do it without some of our stronger world-class players 
is absolutely superb. No Joe Matip either. I forgot all about that one. Um, so, yeah, this Liverpool side means business. Um, and I think we all trust this Liverpool side to be able to find results and a resilience within themselves and an ability to dictate games of football. And I am slowly, nay, quickly falling in love with this side.